हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर बी एस चीमा एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट असेंशियल प्लान न्यूट्रियस ओके वट आर द प्लान न्यूट्रियस दीज आर द एलिमेंट्स नीडिड बाई द प्लान विदाउट विच दीज कैन नॉट बी एबल टू सरवाइव और कैन नॉट बी एबल टू कम्प्लीट इट्स लाइफ साइकल सो बेसिकली द न्यूट्रियस आर द एलिमेंट्स which are required by the plant for the growth and development for the production for the survival and for completing the life cycle they are called as plant nutrient next is absorption of nutrients that how much amount of these essential elements are required by the plant for the functioning for the normal functioning for the better functioning of plants so in the first column we can see that cho means carbon hydrogen and oxygen they are required in very high amount by the plants look at the amount 95 to 96% amount they are required okay in the second column npk nitrogen phosphorus and potassium they are required in 2.7% amount next is calcium magnesium sulfur they comes under secondary nutrients and all the micronutrients they are required by the plants in very less amount all these nutrient combinedly required in 1.3 to 1.4% out of 100 next is criteria of essentiality arnan and stout was given criteria of essentiality in 1939 according to them there are 90 more than 90 number of nutrients are there okay out of 19 17 are essential nutrients and how we can differentiate these 17 nutrients from the 90 uh, nutrients required by the plant they were given three statements by using these three statements we can differentiate essential elements from the non essential element so first statement was that a deficiency of any essential nutrient makes it impossible for the plant to complete the vegetative and reproductive stage of its life cycle means if there is the deficiency of any plant any uh, nutrient in the plant that plant cannot complete its life cycle okay second statement the deficiency of an element is very specific to the element in questioning and deficiency can be corrected or prevented by the supplying that particular element means if there is the deficiency of any element we can we want to cure this deficiency then we have to apply same essential nutrient for example if there is the deficiency of nitrogen then we have to apply nitrogen okay if want to if we want to cure this deficiency and third statement was the element must directly be involved in the nutrition and metabolism of the plant and have a direct influence on plant apart from its possible effects in correct, uh, correcting some microbiological or chemical conditions of the soil or other culture medium means that essential elements should be directly involved in the growth and metabolism of the plant okay so this is the criteria of essentiality on which we can divide 17 essential nutrients from the 90 non essential nutrients okay next is essential elements as i told you earlier that there are 17 essential elements which are required for healthy growth and development okay so we can divide these 17 essential nutrients into two groups first group is called macro or major nutrients and second group is called micronutrients look first group means macronutrients further divided into three types necessary macronutrients primary nutrients and secondary nutrients necessary macronutrients there are three that is carbon hydrogen and oxygen 
primary nutrients again there are three primary nutrients we have nitrogen phosphorus and potassium if we are talking about the secondary nutrients then same calcium magnesium and sulfur so we have been covered nine nutrients in first group in second group there are eight nutrients these are called micronutrients okay like iron boron zinc chlorine copper manganese nickel and molybdenum okay so this is how we can divide these 17 nutrients in the groups okay next is terminology next is terminology okay there are four terms which we can use to tell about the status of any essential nutrient in the plant if someone ask you that in plant you have to tell the status in one word then which word you can use to tell the status okay first term is deficient means if there is the deficiency means if there is a concentration of any element is low in the plant that severely limits the plant growth and produces more or less distinct deficiency symptoms on the plant we can use deficient word okay when we can use deficient word if there is a deficiency of any essential element and its deficiency is start appearing on the leaves or stem or any other part of the plant at that time we can use deficient word next is insufficient when the level of an essential nutrient is below their actual content in the plant in an adequate amount that also affect the plant growth and development insufficient word we can use where we can use when there is the deficiency of any element but it doesn't start to be show on the leaves on the uh, appear on the any surface of the uh, plant it is called insufficient next is excessive when the concentration of an essential nutrient is more than sufficient amount but it not prove as toxic for the plant it is called excessive dose it is called excessive dose of the nutrient in the plant okay and the last term is toxic when the concentration of an element in the plant is very high and this highness of the uh, amount causing effects the plant growth severely and produces toxicity symptoms on the plant toxicity symptoms means burning of leaves okay dwarfing of high height uh, wilting of the plant so this is called here we can use toxicity word okay so there are the four words deficient insufficient excessive and toxic next is functions of cho as we know that carbon hydrogen and oxygen are necessary elements means they are very important for the plant without these elements plant cannot be complete the life cycle so their functions are they are directly involved in the respiration process as we know this is the oxygen present in cho so these elements are directly involved in the respiration of the plant they are involved for the uh, for making for the formation of carbohydrates starch and proteins they are also plays an important role for the maintenance of the plant cells okay they provide energy for performing different functions by the plant so this is how cho is very important their functions is very uh, functions are very important for the plant okay next is functions of nitrogen nitrogen is also very important okay uh, it is mainly involved in photosynthesis of the plant as it is essential part of chlorophyll you know that how much chlorophyll is required okay in photosynthesis without chlorophyll plant cannot make plant cannot prepare its food okay so nitrogen is a major part of chlorophyll 
okay if there will be the deficiency of nitrogen it will be it will be the mean it will de uh, defect if there will be the uh, deficiency of nitrogen in the plant it will be the effect on direct effect on photosynthesis if photosynthesis process will be affected so plants cannot prepare its food in sufficient amount it means they can reduce their growth the final production will be less their development will be low okay next is it constitute of plant life because it forms essential constituent of protein it is very responsible for the formation of protein phosphates alkaloids enzymes hormones and vitamins it is also very responsible for the growth for vegetative growth okay uh, it increase the fruit setting means it increase the number of fruits during the time of fruit setting uh, stage it also increase the utilization of potassium and phosphorus and also some other elements so nitrogen is very important for the plant next is functions of phosphorus phosphorus is also very responsible for the growth and development okay it store the energy you know that how much energy is required in each and every function of the plant energy is required okay so it is used for the storage of energy and when it is required it transfer the energy in the metabolic processes okay it also involved in the cell division and development of some tissues okay it is very important for the root development it is also very important for the flowering for seed formation for the ripening of fruits okay it directly involves in the formation of starch protein nucleic acid carbohydrates respiration fatty acid okay so this is how functions of phosphorus can be affect any plant okay next is functions of potassium same as nitrogen same as pot, uh, phosphorus potassium is also very responsible potassium is responsible for cell turgor pressure for controlling the cell turgor pressure what do you mean by cell turgor pressure for the division of the cell there is pressure is required okay okay so you uh, you know very well that how much division of any cell is how much important in the plant okay because if there will be no any division it means there will be no any growth and development of the plant okay so it is it plays a direct role for the division of the cells for the growth and development of the plant okay it also provide some resistance to the plant for the uh, so that plant can save themselves from the attack of disease and pest okay it also becomes the plant strong and fit okay so that they can save themselves from lodging what is lodging you know very well uh, the fall off of the plant on the surface of earth on the surface of soil is called lodging okay it is also very helpful for the uh, starch formation for in crops like potato sweet potato turnip banana etc okay so this is very important for this next is deficiency symptoms if we are talking about the deficiency symptoms we will start with the nitrogen because nitrogen is very important primary nutrient okay so we are starting with the nitrogen the effect of deficiency of nitrogen starts appear from the very first day of the plant okay its growth become reduce okay the trees uh, doesn't get their average height okay their leaves become yellow so at the starting point we can appear we can observe the deficiency symptoms of nitrogen next is phosphorus okay their 
फॉस्फोरस इफेक्ट देयर इफेक्ट ऑन द प्लांट शोज ऑन द ग्रोथ ऑफ एनी प्लांट देयर ग्रोथ बिकम रिटार्ड ओके ग्रोथ वाइज प्लांट विल बी स्मॉल नेक्स्ट इज पोटेशियम हाउ वी कैन सी द डेफिशंसी सिम्टम्स ऑफ पोटेशियम देयर डेफिशंसी सिम्टम्स ऑफ पोटेशियम सीज जनरली वी कैन सी ऑन द लीव्स ओके लीव्स बिकम रेडिश येलो ऑन द एजिस ओके बाई इनर पार्ट ऑफ द लीव्स रिमेन ग्रीन देयर एजिस बिकम रेडिश ओके ग्रीन कलर फ्रॉम द एजिस स्टार्ट डिसअपियर बट देयर इनर पार्ट ऑफ द लीव दे रिमेन ग्रीन नेक्स्ट इज डेफिशंसी सिम्टम्स ऑफ सम माइक्रो न्यूट्रियस एंड सम सेकेंडरी न्यूट्रियस कैल्शियम टेंडर लीव्स ड्राई एंड प्लांट डाइज टेंडर लीव्स मीन्स द सकुलेंट लीव्स द न्यूली कमर कमिंग सी न्यूली कमिंग लीव्स सकुलेंट लीव्स दे बिकम ड्राई एंड प्लांट बिकम डाई नेक्स्ट इज मैग्नीशियम लीव स्टार्ट ड्राइंग फ्रॉम द टिप फ्रॉम द टिप दैन लीव स्टार्ट ड्राइंग it is the deficiency of magnesium next is sulfur you can see brown spots on the leaves it is the deficiency of sulfur next is iron when main veins of limb of the uh, leaf become green main veins of the leaf become increase it is the deficiency of manganese next is deficiency of copper leaves become yellow and stop growing and then fall off after copper there is boron young leaves become light in color from petiole and start folding when leaves start folding in the plant it means it is the deficiency of boron and last is molybdenum when yellow and orange spots you can see on the matured leaves it will be the deficiency of molybdenum okay so this is all about the uh, essential plant nutrients okay thank you